G'day, how you going? Ian Harris from Australia here. Today, I thought of a nice, quick, easy abstract. I thought of it last week, and it's virtually going to look like this. This took me literally a minute and a half to do, but it's going to take longer on the video because I've got to show you how to do it. And then, it doesn't mean you have to do it that fast either. So we've got our paint here, um, ready to prime the board. I find if you drink the paint, you can do a better painting. It's good stuff. Anyway, so what I've done, my method of carbon paper and printing, I've printed the original picture, which is this off the Google images. I found an image, so I'm going to paint a version of this in abstract. So we've printed it out to the size of our canvas. We've taped it on, and we are ready to prime the board up. I'm using acrylic, as I always do. So I'll wet that, get the um, board a bit wet, and I'm just using a cheap white paint that's a softer flowing one. I've just got it on a glass easel. And we are going to prime this board up. This, this is just so uh, the actual painting won't be on a raw canvas, stretched canvas, this one is. We'll prime that up. I've got no retarder in this primer. And then we grab our hair dryer and we're going to dry it. Right. Okay, that's all dry. See, you can also, if you want to go to the trouble, you can put a rainbow background on here before you do the zebra, or just a, a white going to blue or a sunsetty colory background behind it, but I'm just going to keep it white. Now what we're going to do is get our carbon paper. I use my reference, an A4 piece of paper to pick up the carbon paper because it's so thin. We'll just put two sheets under there, that's all it's going to require. And we'll make some arty magic happen. Okay, that's that done. Now I'm using a red pen as always, because a red pen you can see where you've traced. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not tracing the whole thing, I am just going to trace the outline. So I've got an idea where to put everything, okay? So I'll, let me do a bit down here first before you yell at me saying you can't see what I'm doing. I'll just get the head up here. We've got an ear there. And then we've got the, the hair sort of out here. We've got a scoop of hair. The hair's going to be a bit different to this picture. And the hair sort of comes around there. And then we've got the base of his chest and coming down his back. Okay, so, oh, we better sort of put a reference. See, I'm just going around that black bit for the reference for the eye. Okay, a bit of a reference line there. A bit of a nostril reference. Maybe a mouth. That's about it, eh? So what we'll do, we'll take that carbon paper out. As you can see, it's nothing detailed. Let's take this carbon paper away. And that's virtually what I've got. I've got my reference to the picture. Now, if you want to, you can grab your reference picture and you can sort of draw in some extra lines, so to speak. From that ear, I can see the hair sort of comes back this way. And it's going to scoop over past his eye, okay? So we've got our reference virtually done. To do this also, you need some sort of artistic sense or knowledge just to sort of make the picture look arty. I'm not saying anyone can do it or anyone cannot do it, but if you have trouble doing it, it's probably for that reason. Where is my glass of paint? Now, I'm looking at this picture now and I'm doing that study thing that I always talk about when you want to do a picture. You've got to study it, 
if you're not sure how you're going to do it. So I'm looking at this now and I'm looking at it and I'm looking, looking, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, okay, the head is behind the hair and the body and so on. And then the eye is on top of the head and the ear is on top of the head. Okay? So what I will do first, I want to paint roughly the head in and a bit of his body. Then I will come along and put the next layer on top so we end up with something similar to this. At the end of this video, I will show you what brushes I use because I don't know what I'm going to use until the end and then I can show you what brushes I use and what colour. But I'm only using black and white and the white for the horse is going to be a little bit dirty because the horse background is pure white. So we don't want grey grey, so I'll put a bit of black over there like that. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, I'll, I'll get the, all this paint here mixed up in a dirty white. That's just a dirty white on my glass palette. Okay, because our horsey is going to be dirty white. So it's just a matter. Oh, hang on, I'm going to put a bit of water in that because otherwise it's going to be chalky and dry. We want it to flow a bit. Flow like a good paint. Okay, so I'm looking at my. So there we got white, white around here. Look at it. See, now this is what I'm talking about where you need a bit of an artistic flair. As I've put that paint there, right? Don't leave all the messy brush strokes there. Sort of get them out if you can. This gives a bit more pride in your work. But mine, don't remember thinking this is a bit of a quick painting. Get around there. That's going to be black down there, but that doesn't matter. That's priming the black up a bit more. A bit more paint. We'll go over the edge a bit. Not too much. The more you do this sort of stuff, the better you'll get at it. Oh, we've got a hair in there. Get rid of him. Okay. Brush that all up there. Where's some more paint over here somewhere? See, so I've virtually got all those brush strokes. So I'll do the rest of his body over here now. And the picture we found on the net was just a, a reference to give us something, you know. So now we'll get these brush strokes reasonably even, but they can be thick and high, it doesn't matter, it gives the abstract some abstract. Mm. Okay, so we've got his horsey colour, the white horsey colour. Okay, now we've done our horsey colour. I've got a bit of, I've got a bit of Ian Grey. That's an Ian Grey because I mixed it myself, and some black, just some good old carbon black, and my dirty horsey white because we're doing a horsey today. We're not doing clouds. So now I'm looking at the picture again, looking, looking, looking. Where's some grey? We could see some grey, some on his eyebrow, whatever. So we'll grab Mr. Phil. But again, I'm not even cleaning this brush. I'll just wipe it. And we'll grab Mr. I better spray it a bit. Grab some grey, and then we'll get Mr. Filbert brush here. And oh, I know where the eye is, so the eye is going to be a, a bit up here. When this dries, it'll stand out more. Um, we got his snout here, sort of thing. Looks like crap at the moment, but when it's finished, it's not bad, I think. Uh, where else is a bit of grey? There's a bit of grey hovering around his, his chest. There, hovering around his chest, and sort of some, I don't know, muscle. This is just, hang on, let me get this on there and I'll show you. Okay, and we'll tease where that black's going to be. 
with a bit of grey as well. So it'll transition the grey into the white. I don't know if you can see that yet. Just let me hold it down there because it's bloody hard to hold a easel, not an easel, a canvas up when you're showing someone how to paint. And probably some bits in the hair I can see some there, there, and there. Okay, that'll do. Now we'll put some black in there. Okay, I've got another brush. I was trying to find a filbert size one, which I do have, but when I put it on there, it wants to flatten out, so I won't use that one. I'll get some black on here now, and we'll get this eye in. And we'll get a distinction of the other bit down there. I better show you, otherwise everyone will complain. Where we go? We're going down here, just roughly and artistically. See, I've got the shape of his snout there. I do know that his mouth sort of, I've covered it up a bit. Think where are we? Yeah, this sort of cocks around like this. His mouth sort of goes up here. And we're coming up here. Get my hands in the way. Now we've got black all the way from about here to about there. And not forgetting our nostril. All right, let me paint that black in for you. Here, I know there's a bit of black down here too. Just to shadow his foot off, what his foot is, his leg, little Aussie leg. That's about it. Now, I'm gonna put that brush away. I'm gonna grab my hog bristle fan brush. It's quite a, it's quite a sturdy brush. And we're gonna start with the dirty horsey white. Oh no, actually, sorry, mistake, mistake. We're going to start off with black. Get it very wet. Spray the paint wet so it'll flow better. The wetter it is, it'll flow better. And I'm looking at the hair now, working out which loops to do first so the top ones will be over the bottom ones. So the first ones are coming from here somewhere, which is... There's a go. So this one's going to be over that, so I want these ones done first. Just like that. He's got some more there. Now it's got some heavier stuff here. which I want this in there, like so. And then I'll bring this last bit. I'll try and even that up. Get on his face a bit there, that's how I want it. Then we'll bring this over there. And bring this one right across his face face as well like that now I know this one that's his middle of his mane there we got I better wet my brush again let me paint it's getting a bit thick okay these ones are going over that and over that and 
then we got our last bits, which is the back ones. See, I've made his hair longer and swoopier than the actual than the actual painting. So we've got that bit done so far, okay? Okay, I've given all that black a bit of a dry. Now I'm going to do the eye. Just, I'm not even going to do an eye. I'm just going to sort of, let's try and get the under bit around like so. Can you see that? Right. A little bit of... A little bit of action up the top, just to give him the look of an eye, and a bit of an eyeball. I've done the same with the nostril, in the grey, and a bit of the mouth. The ear, I noticed the ear, has a bit of action going with it as well. So we'll put, I'll put it on there, then I'll show you. It's just stamping away, it's pretty basic. But anyway, now we'll put the white on there. Can you see his eye? Yeah, there you go. Okay, we'll just wet our white up a bit more and lay it on the brush chisel, give it a chiseled edge so you can just skim along the white. Now we've got to look at these paints again and work out which one was first, second and third. So let me do the first bit laying down. It's just like doing a waterfall. Nice and soft. There we go, like that. I'm happy with that. A bit more here. Okay. And a bit more from here. Oh, ooh, soft. Easy does it. Come across his black nostril. And down here, nice and soft. Let's get that nice and soft. Anyway, now we'll get the other bits, which is here. Goes over that, over that. Now, if you, now because over the white there was too much white here, I'm just getting the black again. Oh. And so we can see those hair. And see across his face, we lost, I killed a lot of the blacks. So we'll just add, bring that over there like so. Now, I'll clean this, getting there. I've cleaned my fan brush and I'm just, these black bits here where I just want to highlight some of them. Probably put some stringy bits down there. Oh yeah, I can see a bit there that I missed. See, this is a ha what happens with painting. Stop playing with it and put the damn thing down. You've done enough. But anyway, that's pretty much an abstract of that picture. Using that picture as a reference. If you see something on the net, grab it, get your arty mind to work. Now all I used was these three brushes. A big one, a filbert, and a fan. And black and white, and Ian Gray. And a tall glass of paint to wash it down. If you think you like what I did, tell a friend. If you don't like it, tell everybody. Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.